in this video i am going to talk about the system status check what exactly the system status check is and how we can actually configure that thing on our machine now to start the demo i already logged into my aws console so here i am and i am in mumbai location here let me go to the instance you can search it here for the ec2 and you will land on this page so i already have one of the instance running so we can use this instance for this demo for now i can see the status check 2 by 2 status check pass now what exactly th this thing is now if i sc scroll down a bit and if i look at this option now here i have status check system reachability check passed and the other one is the instance status check now let me go detail one by one what exactly this thing is and for that what I am going to do is I will go to the AWS official documentation so that we can read more about this what exactly these status checks are. Now let me go to the documentation okay here I type on the Google AWS documentation for the EC2 and I have the first page here mm, I am in the user guide for Linux instance here I am going to open the PDF let me search for status check yes okay here it is let me click on that now type of status check now here I have system status check and the second one if I am going to see that is the instance status check now let me go back to my AWS console let me click on my machine status check the first one is system status check and the other one is the instance status check okay now let's see what exactly this system reachability check is or system status check is. These check detect underlying problem with your instance that require AWS involvement to repair and following are the example like loss of network connectivity, loss of system power, software issue on the physical host, hardware issue on the physical host that impact network reachability let me explain this thing in detail whenever we are creating a ec2 instance the underlying hardware is not with us the underlying hardware is with aws so aws manage the underlying hardware that is the hypervisor we do have an option while creating a machine where we can select the dedicated hardware but most of the time we are not selecting that option the reason is that comes with the price so le let me show it to you if i go and click on create instance and if I come to my third window here I have that option dedicated now let me go back now so so what it means that means the underlying hardware is with the AWS and now if there is a problem with the underlying hardware so what exactly it is going to impact it is going to impact the network connectivity because network connectivity is coming from the underlying hardware system power because you know the machine is is physically connected somewhere we are using it on the cloud that's okay but it is physically somewhere it is physically available right so it is connected to a socket or some some power right so that power if we have an issue with that power physical host issue system failure issue so these all things comes under this now in order to rectify this thing let's suppose if this check system status check failed for me now what are the troubleshooting steps I have if I scroll down a bit or if I'm going to see you can choose to wait for AWS to fix the issue or you can resolve it by yourself now how you can resolve it by yourself just reboot your instance how to reboot just go stop your instance and then start your instance when you are going to stop your instance what will happen your instance is going to create on a new hardware new underlying hardware so that means it is going to replace that hardware for you so you don't have to do much thing or if there is a problem then the AWS will come and resolve it for you but for a quick fix what we need to do is we just need to stop our instance and we need to create or we need to start it on a new host that is something we don't have to select we just need to stop and start it will pick up the new underlying hardware okay so that is how we can resolve the issue related to the system status check now let's talk about the instance status check 
this is something where the manual intervention come. Now, this thing related to the failed system statistic, incorrect network or startup configuration, exhausted memory, corrupt file system, incompatible kernel. So, these are the things come here. Now, whenever we are creating a machine, let us suppose I am creating a machine here. Let me go here. Now, let us suppose I am going with the user data that is the startup script. If there is some problem with the user data, then what will happen? This check will fail. Which check? Let me go back to the EC2. Let me select this thing. System status. Now, this check will fail. If we have issue related to the memory, what will happen? This status check will fail. If we have a corrupted booting files or something, what will happen? This status check will fail. Let me go back here. Failed system status check, incorrect network or startup configuration, exhausted memory, corrupted file system, incompatible kernel, all those things result in this failure. Now, let me do a demo for this thing. We can uh, set up a notification whenever any of this system status check fail, I will get a notification of that thing. So, how to configure a notification that is easy. Once we are in this status check, we can go to the action and in the action, we have the option create status check alarm. Let me click on that. Now, here it is giving me an option to create an alarm. I can select alarm notification. Now, here I can select my SNS topic. I am going to create a separate video on that like how to create a topic, how to add a subscription in it. So, for now, I am not going in detail for this one, but let me show it to you. Here we have the option system check field instance or system check field system or we can select both. So, let us suppose if I selected both what will happen and if I am going to configure it correctly and create it. Now, the next time when my EC2 machine launch or when my machine uh, when my EC2 machine start after reboot or something then it is going to check this status check and if there is any failure in the status check what will happen it is going to send me a notification. Let us see the demo how we can see this thing fail or something like that. First one we know that is something not in our hand so I cannot do much in this. I do not have an option to fail the underlying hardware that is something uh, you know with AWS. So, we cannot practically do this right now the first one, but we can do it the second one. So, for that let me do one thing let me log into my machine and how to log into my machine here I need to grab the public IP of my machine and with the help of key pair I am going to log in. So, let me go to my terminal. So, here I am in my download location and let me log in. Now, I logged into my machine. If you see the public IP is 15216, let me verify. Yes, this is the public IP. Now, what I am going to do is I am going to delete all the boot files and then I am going to stop this instance and start this instance. So, what will happen? It, this machine will not get the boot file and it is going to fail the instance status check. So, let me go cd uh, boot sudo rm minus rf star done I have removed everything from the boot do not do this thing I am just doing it for for the example. So, do not do this thing in the production machine or any machine because if you are going to remove the booting file your instance will never come back ok. Now, the next thing let me exit now what I need to do is I need to go to the instance state and stop this instance. It is going to take some time, ok. Um, so, right now it is in the process of stopping. Ok. Stopping. Meanwhile, it is stopping. What I am going to do is I will go to the documentation, and here in the documentation, uh, let me scroll up. see here this is for the system status check for instance backed by amazon ebs volume you can stop and start the instance yourself which in most cases result in the instance being migrated to a new host so that is what i was telling
whenever you are going to stop and start your instance what is going to happen from the back end it is going to migrate from the old underlying hardware to the new one every time every time you are going to stop your machine and start your machine what will happen it is going to migrate to a new underlying host okay or new underlying hardware let me go back to my console now here my machine is in stop state let me go and start my machine so as of now it is showing me pending that's okay um, let me go to the status check it is pending it is pending now it is going to take a lot of time it is going to take at least 5 to 10 minutes so what I am going to do is I am going to pause this video for that time and I will come back once this thing this status check passed and this one failed now let me refresh my screen so here we go let me refresh so here I can see one of the instance reachability check failed let me refresh it one more time one is failed and the other one is passed system reachability check passed and this one is failed now I have deleted the booting file so I have no other option other than terminate this instance so let me terminate this thing so this is how we can configure the system status check